Hi everyone, this is Kasia, the GPS at Tarot Map. Welcome to my newly named channel. Uh, today I want to show you the comparison of two decks, two Tabula Mundi decks, and this is a viewer request, so Kasia, I hope you will make your decision which deck you want to get. Um, I do have two editions, as you can see, the black and white and the um, color version, Colores Arcus. Um, the backs of Colores Arcus are kind of really, kind of full-on, <laughs> disco-like. I don't know if the camera will pick up, but there's like a opalesque rainbow colors coming through it. So um, that's what you get with the decks. They both come in these beautiful boxes with, you know, like those flip-flop things, but I will just get on with it. And let's start with how the decks arrive and they are put in this particular order. I think it has to do with the four tree of lives and you start with the fire and go down, sit through to the Malkuth to Earth. So this is Ace of Wands. Uh -huh, and the bags look like this. So they're the same bags, but these ones are colored and the black and white obviously are not. I have an impression that um, some of the cards are more visible in black and white and some of the cards are more visible in the color edition. So for example here, the black and white seems to be like really standing out, but um, in some other cards the color edition is amazing. Like here I love the volcano, how it just erupts. And I love the pink hues in this deck. It's so kind of unusual to see pink in tarot decks. This is a cool one, Swiftness. So as you know, I'm going to study Toph this year and compare these decks to you know, the original master deck of Alistair Crowley's and Frida Harris. And I would love to add these two decks to my study and I will. The book Liber Mundi, it's really good as well. I want to get also maybe a book or two from Lon Duquette. He spent a lot of his life deciphering the tough deck. I watched one of his courses and wow, I've learned a lot, even though I, you know, I just started, but I have, I had no idea that tough deck had such depth to it. And to be honest, when I look at tough deck, um, artwork I think it's so progressive like the time stretching nets and just the way it was painted it's quite incredible actually I hope it's sharp and you can see all the cuts well the wishbone <laughs> I don't know, I love both of these editions. Some of the cards are really amazing in color. Actually, most of them really. Oh, this one, look at this. So I wouldn't wanna, I think, get rid of the black and white one though. Because I kind of like it too. But here you can see that you can probably get much more from the color version. And this one looks beautiful in color as well, as does this one. Yeah. So you will have to make up your own mind. I think both of the versions are av available. But I got the black and white one from a swap. I think if I was to buy one, I probably would go for the color version. Um, 
Yeah, hard to say. <laughs> I don't know if this is better to see in this way. Not really. Ten of Swords. In a reading, when you put a few cards together, the black and white gets sometimes a little bit too monotone, I found. So to read a few cards in a row or, you know, in a spread, I think it's a little bit easier to read in the color version. It stands out better and I think your psyche makes also uh, some adjustments for color. So you get the general mood and um, it might be a little bit easier to read, but I think it depends also on personality and what a person is, how the person is wired. So if you kind of cool with black and white, I start to like the black and white decks more and more. And there's more and more awesome black and white decks coming out. But here you can see that the lamp, you can see all the detail and in the black and white version you really have to make an effort to see it. And we at the bottom. <laughs> the cord cuts in top deck are unbeatable in my opinion. <laughs> These ones are gorgeous, but like the discs, cord cuts in the original deck are amazing. So we arrived at the major arcanas. Let's go through the wormhole. So the full. And here I think the color version is just spectacular. The magician. Cosmic DJ. High Priestess, or the Priestess, the Empress. I actually quite like the black and white, but Emperor, so cool. The Hierophant, Lovers. And you know that all the colors were, of course, chosen uh, intentionally. They are described by Alistair Crowley's and there's a specific use of color um, in the Golden Dawn tradition and it's not that um, the author M.M. Um, Melin or Melin, not sure how to pronounce it, but she just you know went and painted it the way she wanted. But if you had the black and white version, there's always a description of the color in the booklet as well. So that's interesting. I love this Wheel of Fortune. Last for strength. Hangman is Odin. Death. So you get, of course, the Kabbalistic and astrological association with it as well. lucky enough to have studied astrology really in depth for more than a good few years, maybe six years. Studied with really good teachers in Australia. Studied with Alan Oaken as well. And that helps a lot right now with this system, with this particular one. When you do Marseille, which is my heart system, you don't need any of this. But it helps. And the sun. Ian. So the judgment. And here I think maybe you can see it better though in the black and white version. It's a bit dark, the colored version. And the universe. So there you go. Tabula Mundi. Colores are cool and tabula mundi black and white. Thank you. See you soon.